Previously on Moe's Rants. Now, in the opening scene, I was one. I was like, who is this girl walking up here with the toes out? It's raining and stuff. They going into the the rooster cock house. Like, <laughs> what is this place? I'm not going anywhere with a red rooster on the thing. Now, she passing up everybody. I don't know how much money she tipped to get in, but just to cut the line, this looked like just a solid dub. Like, if that's all it is to cut the line, I'm spending the 20. I'm spending the dub. If, if 20 is to cut the line, shit, say less. I'm cutting that line. Now, they go in there. Look at this dude. They dancing too hard. Whatever kind of dancing they doing, I'm away from it. They over here shaking and stuff. Her hair flying back. You know, you be in there chilling with your drink. I hate when, you know what I'm saying, women get close to me and I got my drink and they, hey, hey, hey watch your hair. Watch your hair. They over here dancing too damn hard. I was looking at this. Even this waitress is like, damn, y'all watch out now. Y'all calm down. And she put, she got too much arch in her back. She ain't even got nothing back there. She got to poke that thing out as hard as she can. You know, her back hurting, that lower back, that lumbar area. She trying to bend that thing all the way to give the illusion that she got some of that backside. She ain't got nothing back there. This man over here looking, though, he got him a nice little senorita on his arm. But he's looking like, who is this girl coming up in here? Okay, what's up? So what I don't get, someone someone with some knowledge explained this to me. They put the drug on their lips. When they kiss somebody, they become high. Why aren't they high when they put this on their lips? Now, I know when they kiss, you know, it goes into the guy's mouth or whoever else they're kissing's mouth. But why aren't they high? Because when they're kissing, it's going in their mouth also. Can someone, because I was looking at this like, how is that working? You put this shit on your lips. They kiss you. I'm like, what? How is this working? What kind of drug is this? First of all, I don't want no drug I have to kiss somebody to get high off of. I'm not just kissing nobody random in the club. Like I said, maybe with this scar and this shit on my face. Yeah, I'll probably do it now because I can't get the quality of woman I want. I got to stoop to those lower chicks. But I'm not about to just be kissing a chick. I got a chick on my arm. You know what I'm saying? We in here kicking it. And then some girl with a scar comes up and tries to kiss me. Talking about, give me a kiss. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing, we ain't 18 years old. I think the last, the first and the last time I kissed a girl in class, I was like 19. I said, this shit is disgusting. Disgusting. Adamsville said maybe the lipstick is blocking it a little bit. I don't know, man. What are they, like poison ivy? <laughs> Kendall said, like Brillo says, that's goofy. Yeah, you in here. I got to kiss a random girl. I don't know where this drug is coming from, but I know that girl over there. She got that. What is that? That green shit on there? Anybody that got some green shit on their mouth, I'm thinking, is that a booger? I'm not thinking, let me kiss it. Let me get high. I'm not doing that. Then you just got all the girls in the club. They in here dancing. They partying and stuff. Cheers. They over here drinking. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. They got this black guy over here. You could tell he only got girls because he got money. He definitely ain't got no gang. <clears throat> they all in here infatuated. This dude over here with the body shirt looking up like, oh, my God. Like, hey, man, you got two nice ones right here with you. You got the little chocolate thing over here. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what the hell you got right here. And then you got this girl right here. But y'all looking at this basic ass white girl walking through y'all talking about, ooh. Get the hell out the way. Let this Nubian. Oh, this ain't no Nubian. Let this white queen sit down next to me. Let me get some of that milk up off her. And let me start kissing. Like what, nigga? I wouldn't even let my homies go out like that. And another thing for all my black people in here. Now, if you go overseas, this is acceptable. 
But don't go to any club where you got them niggas in there with the lights on and they doing all that. Don't go to those kind of clubs. Them are not the kind of clubs you want to be in. Them are the kind of clubs where you see this going on right here. You go in the bathroom, they doing lines, they popping pills, they over here just randomly kissing anybody. Anybody that goes to these kind of clubs where they playing that EDM music, that, burr, that, burr, that, burr, that, burr, that shit that's just too fucking fast, your heart rate got to catch up with it, so you got to be on drugs. You don't go in these kind of clubs. This is not somewhere that my black folk want to be in now if you go overseas sometimes that's all you got especially if you're going into them eastern european countries but trust me y'all don't want to be in this shit here because this is a spot that the serbs be in the russians be in and they're gonna whoop your ass anything out of line you bump into somebody bing 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 they whooping your ass don't go in any club. You got to ask the bartender. I mean, not the bartender, but security up front. Hey, y'all got a nigga in there with the lights on dancing. If they say, yeah, you say, nah, I'm good on that. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. What's going on, Linda? What's going on, Linda? I see you. But we got to keep going because this is not a club you want to attend. You going up in this thing thinking you about to have a time of your life. You got these white girls over here and all of them are working girls. And that's exactly what they in here. They over here. Pouring out some shit on they on they wrist talking about no no we don't want that I don't want that where'd you get that from how'd you sneak that in the club you ain't got no purse on you would you just walked in here with the a, a, a container of drugs we don't want that shit this dude over here dancing like hey man security need to get this girl she a wild one all these niggas are just leaving the girls they with like look at this you you got a lick your wrist to get high like no there's nothing appealing about that even this black guy he ain't the brightest of black guys because he just kicked out the girls he already had the ones that you could send my trust that you came with and you brought in a random white girl basic as hell came and sat down and licked her wrist and tried to kiss you i just say oh hey oh what the fuck no one kiss your ass i don't know you who you with you over here by yourself? Who comes to the club by themselves as a girl? Now, a nigga like me, I go in that motherfucker by myself. That's a different story. But a woman coming in here by herself and going straight to the VIP, that's a red flag, brother. Ain't that what they say? Red flag? Because a girl coming straight to your VIP that you didn't invite, that means this motherfucker is money hungry or that but Let me watch my mouth. Or that woman is a broke-ass bum like the mummy from Miami. She just trying to come over here, drink up all your drink, kiss on you, and then leave your ass at the end of the night and go back to the nigga that she fucking. Don't do this, fellas. This is not what you do. You brought some girls with you. You hang out with them. You don't bring these outsiders in here. And then she licking on her wrist like a damn cat. What? No. Get up out of my section. Get. You got to kick them in their butt and get them up out your section. Then you're looking on the dance floor. If it's too many people in the club kissing, this ain't a place you want to be. When you look out here and you see all of this, you don't want to be here. This is not the club for the people with this color. If you my color or darker, you do not want to be in this place. This is going to end up all bad for you. You ain't here. You thinking you having the time of your life. If you're going to have the time of your life. Uh-huh. When they come in here and shut this shit down, all niggas to the front right now. Your ass is going to jail. You be like, we ain't even had no drugs on us. We don't give a damn. There was drugs in the building. Your black ass is in here. You're going down. What? What? I ain't even do nothing, officer. Yeah, okay. You ain't do nothing. Now you're gonna do something for us. You're gonna put your hands against that goddamn wall and spread them. Damn. I told you we shouldn't have came in this club. And now y'all arguing because one of your homeboys was smart enough to say, man, this ain't where we supposed to be at. You're like, nah, man, it's cool, man. I go in here all the time. You fucking with them white girls. Now you're in this goddamn situation. Yeah, I tell it like it is, man. I keep it real from a black man's perspective. This ain't the place you want to be. You going up in here thinking it's, hey, hey, move that shit out the way. You over at the bar, drinks is expensive as hell because they know everybody being here on drugs and they talking about, man, a hen and coat. Oh, we don't have any seeing here, sir. Up, oh, that's a red flag. That means y'all don't accept Negroes. You know what I'm saying? We have this Russian vodka here. Like, what the fuck is this shit? And ain't they at war? We don't want that shit. We want some Ciroc or something. No, we ain't got that in here. We got this old ass gray goose. Uh, no, <laughs> we are out of here. Talking about Grey Goose. You don't want no Grey Goose. 
we do have this 1942. Like, oh, okay, let me see something. Let me. How many of us is it? One, two, three. All right, it's three, four of my homeboys. We can we can get the 1942. We can do some 42 now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't be letting them girls come in here and drink up all the drink. If they want to drink some, let them get that shit over there that they, that Russian vodka that they bring. Don't be getting the 42 for the good. Like only the hey, only the girls that you know or like the you know what I'm saying that are for you. Let them get the 42. The other random ones, you know what I'm saying? You want to have your section looking good. You want to stunt and fake it, just like Jannard and them, because we jumping straight to their ass next. Just how they in the club, they faking it and stuff. You want to bring all these girls, make it look like you balling, and they drinking up all your shit, and you ain't really balling. Y'all done split all this liquor, and then you talking about, man, I only got two drinks out of that. Yeah, because you let everybody in there. You let everybody come in there. Hey, girls, come in here and drink. And what? What do they do? What do they do? They drank up all your shit. They drank up all your shit. Now y'all in the strip club. Now we're going to give you a black perspective because that's in the white people club. Now, see, this here is more of a Negro environment. We go up in this thing, strip club. You talking about, ooh, wait. We got even young boy back there, 16 years old. He in here going crazy. And that's what these young boys do because they ain't paying for nothing in there. He talking about, man, them girls looking at me. Fellas, here's an FYI. All the girls in the strip club are going to look at you until you ain't throwing no money. And then they're going to go look at a nigga that is. And nine times out of ten, that's all they want. Well, actually, 11 times out of ten, that's all they want. Jimmy on the beat, boy.